Hey, what's up, gamers? It's Swishman Wild from 24 7 Sim Gaming. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Days Gone Mods for the year of 2023. We do have a new location for installs for a couple mods. If some have changed, we're going to get right into it and not waste any time. And if you have a look down below at the description, you will be able to see these mods that we're going to be installing. So go ahead and click that and follow along. And this first one is going to take us to the Hope County Sheriff mod. And make sure you have a Nexus account um, created. It takes a couple seconds just to create that account. Just sign up with the email there and you'll be right into it. It's free to make an account as well. So let's go up here and click manual download. And this is going to take us to the slow download page. And we'll give that a second there. And as that is downloading, let's go ahead and locate our main game directory. And we'll go ahead and do it through Steam. And we're gonna click Days Gone. And we're gonna go to Properties, Local Files, and we're going to click Browse. And that will pull up this menu here, which is going to be in your Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, slash Days Gone. Inside this day is gone. We're gonna go into bin game content and Inside this content folder. We're going to have a folder labeled PAX P-A-K-S and a folder name SF P-A-K-S and the first thing we need to do is just simply click and rename the SF packs to Really you can name it anything, but it's easiest to just add an S onto there. So it's SF packs with two s's and the second thing we need to do is open up the packs folder and now that we have that open let's just bring it down just a hair all right let's go get that download that we just did for the hope county sheriff let's give that open make sure you have winbar winzip something down those lines so you can unzip folders and this is going to be a simple drag and drop as you see 500 hope sheriff dp underscore pack drag it to your empty area like so i'm getting a replace prompt but you won't get that i already have this mod installed all right now that we have the first part done the second thing we need to do is go ahead and head back to the link in the description it's going to take us to the hunter gatherer page and we're simply going to go up to the top here and click manual download slow download and while that's downloading we need to locate this new file directory so what you need to know is the name of your pc um, if you don't know the name of your pc you can look down on the left you'll have the name of your pc it should be right above the tab that says this pc so when i click this pc excuse me when i click the name of my pc it'll take me to this page You'll see all these things in here. You want to have a look at the app data and then you want to click local and inside local you're going to look for the bin the game folder and you're going to click saved and inside this saved folder is where we're going to drop this new download. So let's just go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit and let's get that download open that we just had. So there's the hunt to gather. As you see the hunt together we're going to have a folder called cooked and you simply want to drag and drop this cooked folder inside your bin game underscore saved i'm going to skip these files i'm skipping those files because i already have them installed but you won't be skipping them and that's going to drop a cooked folder inside of your local bin game saved and that's all you need to do and there'll be a few more things that you'll be able to add into this cook folder but just repeat the process you don't need to get into the nitty-gritty of what's inside each actual folder location just drop the cooked folder and it will add to what's already inside of there so last but not least we're gonna go inside of the game and check out our mods that we added in and that's it for this one so if you like this video please make sure to like subscribe drop a comment most importantly subscribe as it helps my channel the most let me know which days going mods you're looking forward to trying or which mods you're running because i'd love to try some new ones and if you need any help modding your days going or any other popular sim games please check out my channel 
or join my Discord down below and you can get some help from me or someone inside of my staff. And as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.